Alright guys, they're playing a Briar top lane on today's video. We're playing a Briar this time versus I have no idea who. And for the runes, we got Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Scent. We got Bone Plating specifically, and then also Overgrowth. Now, I actually run Dawn Shield this game. I don't typically go Dawn Shield in a matchup like this, but... Wasn't entirely sure if it was going to be set, so this is interesting to see. We're going to be going for a very interesting build so you guys are probably very used to the stride breaker build stride breaker black lever build what i want to do this game <laughs> didn't get it what i want to do this game is blade of the rune king as a first item and then going into stride breaker so i think you guys are gonna like it i think you will the only thing is that this matchup is very bad we basically outscale set but it takes time Set is a very heavy counter to me in the early game. Set can just walk up at me, stun me, and then win. That's the problem with the matchup. It's actually very easy for Set to do something here. I don't have a proper disengage outside my E. So... We have to take this very carefully. Very smart Set player, by the way. This guy is like completely preventing me from farming. By slow pushing. I don't think that Skarner can do very much. I think I might even ping the Skarner away. Because the wave is too massive. Uh, yeah, the wave is too massive. It's not much that Skarner can do. I think it will go for the reset. Yep. The set player is very smart. I mean, not too smart, so apparently he's staying around, and that's a terrible mistake from. Okay, take that. Oh, man, that is so great. So I just knocked him away. <laughs> and because of that, the W actually did not apply on me. Fantastic, dude. Amazing. <laughs> I love that I can knock him away and you know there's a chance of where uh where my uh E uh where my E's is gonna knock him away so that W doesn't land. I am lucky. <laughs> I didn't even use my potion for this moment. Okay. So uh the first thing that we are going to do is we are building Blade. However, we're also going to be starting to build Berserker's Grease early, and there's a reason for that, right? So typically, Blade of the Rune King as the first item is definitely the, the biggest recommendation if you're going for the setup, because uh, Blade gives you the ability to all in and not losing the fight, right? Um, however, the problem that comes with that is that if you don't build boots into someone who builds boots, uh, he can outrun your, you know, your W. And your auto attacks will never apply. So I'm building Berserker's Greaves anyway, so I can also disengage better. Okay. Let's hold it like this, I think. Nah, I can do that. Not as easily, anyway. Nice. So yeah, we have uh, we already have item advantage. Again, like, Set is still stronger than me in the early game. There's not much you can do about it. It's just the way how the matchup is. I actually run into this matchup a lot because people know that Set counters Briar Top. A lot of people know about this, so they actually always pick it into me. It's one of the, uh, one of the problems. People know exactly how strong Set is into Briar. Fortunately, though, we are actually catching up. Like, in the early game, Set was very smart, and he was actually holding the wave and slow pushing it into me, and it actually certainly denied me a lot of farm. However, we are now making a solid comeback. We actually have a lead on Set right now, and the wave is also pushing into him. So, um... Which means that if this wave gets under a tower right now, what we can do is... We 
You're getting a gank. Oh, I missed that straight up. That's super sad. I could have knocked him into the wall. I was trying to, but I was also trying to charge as much as I could. Whatever, I guess. The Skarner ganks are definitely helping a lot. Skarner is super OP because he can just rotate. Uh, I mean, he can just walk from the terrain. Oh man, Skarner ganks are so OP because he can just go through that terrain so easily. He actually consistently hits it as well. Fantastic, dude. I appreciate all the Skarner ganks. Like, those Skarner ganks go a long way because, like I said before, when we're playing Briar, um, we have a problem in the early game, but once we make it to Blade of the Room King, everything will completely change in our favor. I know that. I've played this matchup several times and Blade completely counters set um, with Briar it once, uh, once you have all the attack speed, you can just obliterate him, right? Now the wave is pushing in my direction, which is awesome. We're level 7, we're like one level ahead of him. And we also have item advantage right now. So I think... I think I might be able to 1v1 him already. I'm gonna give it uh, a little try. But first the wave needs to be in a correct position. So before we actually do this... First I need to fight him when the wave is in the correct one. If I fight him right now, I will likely be able to fight him and then knock him away. But if Seth is smart enough, he will sidestep my knockback. And he will directly go in and then kill me afterwards. So... You gotta be extremely careful with how you fight that set. Because if you auto him, uh, he also charges W. And his W will do a lot of damage at that point. Nice, good trade. Very clean, because we didn't take the W damage. And now we can redo it again soon. Knock him away. And it failed. And it seems like we're getting ganked. GG's. Terrible. This is so bad for me. But yeah, it's okay. Whatever. It happens. Right as we have the lane in the perfect position. Fiddlesticks just comes in at the right timing. Okay. It is what it is. I can try and like ult the top lane, but it kind of depends. Yeah, he walks away. He knows that my ultimate is flying at the moment. Man, he got like several plates from that one. That's the worst part. However... I'll see if I can get a plate myself. We'll check it out. We'll see if we can. Just popped up you there. Very good. So push on. I'm rotating instantly. This is going to be a good fight because Seth is not here. Worth it, I would say, because Set is also losing the farm. Yeah, Set lost a lot of farm trying to do that rotation, so it's even better for me than it already was. Got an assist too, by the way. Very good. I think th one thing that we can try to do is knowing that top lane is going to be pushed into me and Skarner can just, you know, travel through terrain. I think that we're probably going to get a kill right here. This might work very well. Okay. I got him for sure. Yep. I'll take that immediately. I love when the lane is pushing into you and you have a champion like Skarner who can travel through walls. One of the best things in the entire game, honestly. Champions that can travel through walls and terrain 
and have so much gank potential are my favorite junglers. Okay, time to back off. So we're actually getting pretty close to Blade. Uh, we can uh, we can buy uh, the pickaxe now. And we're not that far off. We need like 400. There you go. I will also bring some attack speed with me. So I'm using the value. I'm using the gold I have in the inventory. I'm using that for strike break already. So rather than saving the gold and waiting for Blade... I'm just going to use the gold already and start building into stride breaker so that i can have even more stats right i'm not going to let the gold be uh, be uh, wasted just sitting there it's better to use it already and now we just hold it once again it's very good to hold the lane like this because uh top lanes completely push in my direction whoops and uh we have skarner top side so if you see your jungler top lane it's always the best if you can have the wave in this position because when the time comes and he tries to last hit uh we can just set up the entire fight set up the whole thing we should be able to win because we're level nine we're almost about to hit level 10 which means that's like a solid uh two level difference And we just keep holding it. I'll see if I can separate the set from the wave here. Knock him away. It's good to knock him away because you do not want to get caught by the uh, by the stun here. I mean by his W. I'm going to walk away early. Really? It happens again? Don't tell me. So Fiddlesticks is top lane again. Doing the exact same gank like before. So apparently I've been... Uh... <laughs> I got baited. Fortunately, we got some lifesteal. And I think... We are certainly not alone. I don't think we are. Let's pop in E so I can heal a little bit. If you press healing, uh, if you press E, you will heal automatically too. And your W also helps. Let's see if he's alone. So he's also just healing back very slowly. I still don't have vision on uh, specifically Fiddlesticks. So Fiddlesticks could still be top lane. Hmm, I have a hard time deciding if I want to. Okay. <laughs> he had like 1 HP, let me tell you that. Literally, 1 HP. This is why the matchup is so hard to play out. This is literally it. The matchup is very, very hard because whenever I go in and I try and fight set and I try and, you know, pop him out and try and hit E, if he sidesteps my E, I have no disengage ability anymore. He can just walk up at me and kill me. I always run into set if I play Briar. Everyone plays set when I play Briar. He's always there. I've seen this matchup like 10 times in a row. It's such a hard one to play out. But again, like, if you eventually get ahead in the game, you're going to beat him constantly. Unfortunately, Fiddlesticks playing on top so much. Hey, thank you, Fading, for the sub, bro. Thank you for supporting me, dude. Let's push this out the entire way. So, hopefully now is the time we're going to start snowballing the game. Lane is over, unfortunately. I'll grab some, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Take this one, too. That'll help. Pop this one. 
So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to consistently try and push top and mid at the same time. And then see if I can do rotations and catch people off. That's my plan. That's how we're going to try and get a lead on this guy. It's probably the best way to do it. Uh, doesn't run that way. Let's see where he's going because this is going to help me out a ton. This is the first, like, part of the game where I can snowball. This is very good for me. Let's grab this two. And let's grab the next one. I'm feeling very confident in this game about outscaling Zed now, because we're, like, farming two lanes at once at the moment. And we also got a catch on Zed, which was worth a big value. Again, there's a teleport from Zed, and I am obviously not as interested. Seems like that guy is dead for sure. Probably take the wave for myself. Yep. And back to top lane. This is basically the rotation we're going to do a lot of times. This is the way how we're going to push our lead. Because the second that we have like one or two level lead against anyone, we can just pop W in and we can just wreck them all. So if no one farms mid lane, I'll take it myself and then we also farm top as well. We're just going to try to be as efficient as we can possibly be. Um, Zed is still a question whether I'd be able to beat him fully. Because he's going for a ton of damage. I need like 700 for Stripe Breaker, but I'm obviously not going to wait for it. Let's quickly reset. There you go. Fiddlesticks is still playing around top lane. However, I know that he's there. I'm not going to fall for it. That's not going to happen. And we also have... Uh, Skarner taking the camp, by the way. Let's grab the next one too. Zed is actually ahead of me. I think that Fiddlesticks will show at some point. So I know that Fiddlesticks is here, around here. Hmm. Let's see if I can ult him from a distance. Oh, it worked. Yep. Man, this is one of the reasons why I love Briar so much. Because the very second that you make it out of the early game, you're going to dominate the entire game. Because Briar is a hyperscaling champion. And if you play Briar in top lane, you'll have all of the XP for yourself, right? In the entire early game. Of course, if you don't have a Yumi, you will have XP for the rest of the game. But uh, we got a Yumi this game, and that makes Briar top lane even better. And I'm getting wrecked by Fiddle Six again. I got three deaths the same way. <laughs> oh man! All right, three deaths in the exact same way. These guys are readable. I'm not going to fall for it again. All right, bro. So next thing we're going to do, we have Blade. We got a Stripe Breaker. The next thing we're going to do is we will buy uh, Sun of Sky or we will go into a Black Lever. And I think it's going to be Sun of Sky, actually. Although Black Lever is quite nice because it's going to counter set very hard with it. I think it's going to be a Black Lever straight up. My ult is about 12 seconds. I'm uh, slightly worried about this here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's pick it up. We instantly push forward. I'm not scared of Set. I'm not scared of anybody at the moment. I know that Set is probably backing. So I'll take every chance I can get to shove out this part.
Got it. And we take this, of course. Now we back off. I know that there's more people pathing top. I'm not going to take the risk. I'd rather walk back, take the jungle camps if they're not being taken, and then show top lane again afterwards. Everyone's missing. I'm not going to fall for it like again. <laughs> I won't say twice, but I already fell for it like three times. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's the ward, I guess. Yep. Uh, maybe Skarner can help here? Maybe. I think that set's uh, still up here. Yeah, got him. Hmm, this is uh, quite challenging. Where are these people coming from? I, he must have teleported, I guess. <laughs> There's five people toppling. <laughs> All right. Four deaths. Uh, I actually got... This time I didn't get wrecked by Field 6 necessarily, but... I'm pretty sure that Zed teleported because he came from the brush. So apparently there, there was a ward. All right, dude. I don't think they're doing Baron because Phil6 is currently dead. I think I'm going to change my plan just a little bit. Because if you go top, there's no dragon involved at the moment. I don't think it's going to work, but maybe I'm right. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. There will be a fight in uh, mid lane. And this might personally, it's not a one that I would recommend. Okay, they actually don't. Maybe we get to win the team fight as we have a Skarner that could maybe prepare it. But I would much rather like split push to be honest. He's going on. Yep. Skarner set up everything. Oh, I can chase him down anyways. My W will call him back in like two seconds. Yep. Mm, that doesn't really matter. I'll heal back. Got him. Crazy healing, bro. I love the healing from Briar. Like, it's one of the best things, in my opinion. As you can see, we've been through a very hard early game. Like, we got wrecked several times by several people. But as you can see, we're now making it to the mid late game. And, like, Briar is so simple in that aspect. You can just, like, turn your brain off. We're not really playing those teamfights out as much as you think. We just press W and the champion just, you know, does its own thing. Okay, we have the Black Lever. And next thing is going to be Sunward Sky. Uh, I'll just go for this one. So probably throughout the game, we are definitely going to get Steric's Gage, so that we also have the Tenacity. Dragon is available in like 5 seconds. There will be another team fight that we gotta play out. Got it. Let's see where Set comes from, because Set is currently top lane. Not, care if 
Okay, there will be a team fight right here. I'm gonna see if I can block Seth from making it. Uh, yeah. Uh. What? Oh, the fiddlesticks blocked him! Fiddlesticks thing blocked it away from me hitting him. I was like, where did my ultimate fly to? But it was the fiddlesticks. Wow. It's so ridiculous that a fiddlesticks can actually block that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm actually pretty sure that my ultimate would have definitely hit because he didn't even move. I'm pretty sure it would. Um, there? They continue pushing. Okay, so I think that this is probably... We can definitely fight this. Hmm, I got him. Yep, double. Look how fat we're getting right now. And we got everything. Bot lane's getting pushed in all the way, so I'm not gonna go bot lane. Let's take the camps and I get out. Yep. And the other one. Now we go back. Might also get to the blue buff, maybe. Yep. Now we go back. Yep. 2.5k, so what we are going to do is definitely Star Cage before I go Southern Sky. I need to have the uh, tenacity. Perhaps maybe I can press Archer bot lane. I don't think they would expect me to do that. I don't know. Let's uh, let's find out. I want to try, but the Z is also level 15, and the travel distance is very large. So I, I don't know. I don't think I will. Probably several people bot lane. So I'm not necessarily looking for a fight that quickly. Oh, okay, now we can. Then hit. Next one. Before we rotate, let's quickly push this out so it gets on our tower. So these guys are actually forced. Okay. We can follow up. That was without W, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> So different now. We're, we're we're like an unstoppable beast. It's so hard for the enemy team to do anything. We could maybe take tower. Uh, Zed is top lane, so tier two tower also provides the most value. And before we decide to back off, well, I think we can already do that. Um, yeah, we're just going to do that. 4,100 gold. We've been farming the enemy team while we're at it. Got the final item. And let's go. Dragon spawns in 45, and I can confidently say we're going to win it. I'm uh, completely full built. I have all the items that I need. Wait, 
targets. As long as he doesn't go for tower, it doesn't really matter. Now we're just missing Kaisa. I think that we could honestly keep going. <laughs> Let's grab it. I'll heal back, no worries. I look very low HP, but once I take the wave, I'm back to full. I'll take it. I know that Zed's on the back. I pressed it too early. Oh, okay. I got... Yeah, I, I got the triple. Okay. Well, my teammates can either finish the game right now or they can maybe go Baron. Maybe. Uh, I can swap this around. I don't need to preserve his views anymore. I can just buy something else. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do as well. Um, we can go into dead stands and I think it certainly helps. However, an, an alternative that we can also do is, going, uh, is go Phantom Dancer because this uh, provides uh, movement speed as an alternative and attack speed. And on top of that, you get like 20 AD and like 20 crit chance. Or we can go dead stands, have a lot more armor, but since they have so much AP, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to do this. Let's go Phantom Dancer. Slightly smarter. It's a good replacement for the for the movement speed. And let's go. So now all we need is the Baron. And that's really it. I'm ready to team fight. And maybe we can just keep pushing mid lane. Oh, she saw it. Okay, let's go. Oh, smart. He instantly feared. Oh, they got anti-healing. Let's get that Baron real quick. I think that's the solution. I actually got one catch, which is great. <clears throat> Heal back. Sidestepped it again. Wait, I got Baron with me as well. Okay, it's over. Yo, man, Briar is such an epic late game beast. I am not gonna lie to you guys. Early game was so hard to play out, but the late game is just so simple. It's so easy. You don't even you don't even pilot the champion. It just plays itself out. G, it's over. Yo, this is Briar Top Lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Briar video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.